Welcome back, fellow host and property enthusiasts. Now, in today's video, we're going to be tackling an essential aspect of optimizing your Airbnb listing, setting a competitive price and finding the right balance between attracting guests and maximizing your earnings because this can be a challenge. But fear not, because I am here to share with you some valuable tips to help you set a price that stands out in the marketplace. So let's get into this. Now, step number one, the very first thing you've got to do is research the local market. Now, before determining your price, it's crucial to understand, you know, the local market dynamics. Research other listings in your area with similar features, you know, similar amenities, and in a similar location. Take notes of their rates and their availability. Now, by gaining insights into your competition, you're then going to be able to be better equipped to position your listing competitively and attract the right guest as well. Now, step number two is consider seasonal demand and events. Now, seasonal demand and local events can significantly impact the price that you can come out for your listing. So you have to analyze historical booking trends to identify the peak seasons when demand is really high, and then you're able to adjust your rates accordingly. Now, additionally, you've got to keep an eye out for major events, first events conferences that happen in your area as they can create a surge in demand and allow you to increase your prices strategically. Now, there are tools that you're able to use for this that ensures or means that you don't actually have to keep a track of all of these things, but it does also matter. It's also important for you to know these things for yourself so you're able to plan ahead in the future as well. Step number three is implement pricing tiers, right? So pricing tiers can be really, really, they can be a really powerful tool when it comes to optimizing your earnings because while accommodating different guest preferences as well. Now consider dividing your calendar into um, different pricing seasons or different pricing tiers based on demand. So for example, um, you could have a high season with higher rates, a mid season with moderate rates, and a low season with discounted rates. So this approach really allows you to capture the maximum value from the listing throughout the whole year. Really, really important. Step number four is offer flexible booking options. Now, flexibility can be a key factor for guests when choosing a listing. So consider offering different booking options to cater to various needs, right? So for instance, you could provide a minimum night stay requirement during you know, peak seasons while allowing shorter stays during the less busy periods. Now, by being flexible, you can attract a wider range of guests and potentially increase your occupancy rates as well. Step number five is implement dynamic pricing. So I touched on this earlier on. Dynamic pricing is a game changer in the world of short-term rentals. It allows you to automatically adjust your rates based on factors such as demand, availability, and the market trends. Now, by utilizing dynamic pricing tools or softwares, you can actually optimize your rates in real time, ensuring that you're always competitive and maximizing your earnings as well. Now, step number six, focus on guest value. Now, setting a competitive price isn't just about undercutting the competition. It's also about delivering value to your guest, ensuring that your listing provides a unique and exceptional experience that justifies the price. Now, you need to consider amenities, the quality of your service, the overall guest experience. Now, by delivering value, you can maintain competitive rates while attracting guests who appreciate what you have to offer that differs from the competition as well. Now, so look, to recap on all of this, what you've got to do, first of all, is research the local market. You've got to consider seasonal demand and events, implement pricing tiers, offer flexible booking options, utilize dynamic pricing, utilize dynamic pricing, I'll say that again, and focus on guest value. Now, by following these steps, you're going to be well equipped to set a competitive price that attract guests while also maximizing your earnings as well. So again, we are back at this stage. Thank you very much for joining me. 
on this journey to understand the importance of competitive pricing for your Airbnb listing. I hope you found this video useful um, and I hope it helps you optimize your earnings, you know, while attracting the most productive guests as well. Now remember, finding the right pricing strategy may require some experimentation and adjustments along the way. Stay attentive to the market trends. Always keep an eye out for your guest feedback and the performance of your listing to continuously refine your pricing approach. And here's a little bonus tip for you as well. Monitor and adjust regularly. Now, setting the competitive price is an ongoing process and regularly adjusting your listings and its performance, including the booking rates, occupancy and guest review. Stay informed about any changes in the local market or events that may actually impact um, your demand as well. Now, by staying proactive and responsive, you can make the necessary adjustments to your pricing strategy to stay ahead of the competition. So that's my final thoughts. Now, remember this. Finding the sweet spot between attracting your guests and maximizing your earnings is key to success as an Airbnb host. Be strategic, adaptable, and always prioritize providing a guest experience above all. And by setting a competitive price, you're going to be able to stand out from the crowd, attract more bookings, and achieve your hosting goals. So again, thank you very much for watching. And if you have found this video helpful, then be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more hosting tips and tricks and as always feel free to leave any questions or comments down below and i will see you all on the other side